All right. Hello and welcome to part two. Still super tired and we're gonna continue. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. <clears throat> a little gap in the tail. Yeah, so I actually looked at this picture a lot more because I was thinking maybe I could see or find something. But yeah, there was nothing. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Hey, guys. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. <laughs> You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Yeah, we do. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, I dived a couple of dived a times. Dived a couple of over the years. <clears throat> I'm an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. War grave. Who's gonna know? Come on. You see anyone else out here? I choose that know. because I don't think money if will solve the problem. If someone it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. <clears throat> Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Yeah, because she seemed a little bit angry. So offering her money felt very wrong <coughs> so there's a like her driver license here I don't know why this doesn't look kosher What did he say? I didn't turn the driver license to the back side first time around. Yeah, so let's go down to our brother. Yeah, so this is one of the pictures. Oh. What am I looking at here? So, this was the first picture we found, and um, I was thinking like there's one here before this one. And I really hate that because there is probably a picture in the first scene that I have missed and I didn't see it this time around either on my second try. So yeah, I think maybe, maybe I'm missing, but in some games, the first spot is not where it should be. So this could maybe be just jump around all over the place. Like this this picture could maybe be found in chapter 3 or whatever. I don't know if it's one of those. 
but it kind of feels like we missed one here, found this one, found that, that, and So that door is locked. Uh, we opened this door and we found Julia's stuff. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Yeah, so it was like a perfume. It's only smelled as good as it cost. And a book. It made her happy. Shroud of Innocence. Yes, we did that. I don't think there was anything more in this room. Could be one of those games when he turns his head to something he seems to be interesting in. I don't know. So our brother is in here. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that Bruski got the better of me. Yeah, don't you worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just yeah, so I will try to Come keep everyone better. as, like, best friends. I think I did the same thing in Until Dawn as well. Yeah, so this time I actually have only positive. I had one negative. With Fleece, I actually have two. Frustra frustrated and disappointed. But... Uh, I wanted to do the same answers uh, like I did. Oh, I'm getting so tired. I will try to speed up things. So we went back up. I turned off this screen, but I don't see any point of doing that. So let's try to speak with Conrad. Oh, so. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just <coughs> exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Yeah, I choose that okay, one. Hey, you little clown I... I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. So, we're gonna take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Kids. And we're gonna to go. take the. Just remember the rules, please. Boomstick. I got the bang stick. Well, bang I heard stick. That about you. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, boomstick you is ever like. Have to use one? On a shark? Sh shotgun. Nope. Yeah. So, basically. Something happened here in the in the speed 
boat. So Alex took the bang stick on the dive. See if I didn't pick it up, things could maybe be a little bit different. I don't really know. Oh. Yeah, I was super tired. More or less. <sighs> She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. I'm it's actually thinking fire. if I should do a different Let's choice a here. Find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, I think I choose to pass. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Yeah. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. Don't ask a lady about money. I think you're gonna choose a different here. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. And now we can be a little bit more It'd nicer. It'd be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. So... Conrad, probably a couple of negatives, yeah. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Yeah, so it kind of looks like something was on its way. So we went to the binoculars. But we didn't see anything, so I'm not going to do that. I also picked up this and thought maybe she could see something different, but she didn't. This was a new thingy. This, this one I missed. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I don't know, this is new. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why well, spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. 
<laughs> yeah, that was new. I didn't talk to Conrad. I went down and talked to Brad. One thing that changed was that with her, we could actually open this door that we couldn't before. And there was a picture here. Why do I keep these around? Yeah, you tell me. Uh, I also went in here, but... We didn't snook around because we know there's a book there, but I don't know. So I will let it be like for now as well. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such <clears> a wimp. Uh, it's your vacation. I think hey, I used. To... It's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Yeah, I don't Alex really remember what I should say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Yeah, there's a couple of new stuff. This one we didn't see either. Oh my god. Can't we not pick it up again? Need to hold it. Uh, Felicity Dubois. Okay, I didn't have time to read it because here comes the speedboat. What's that about? Uh, that's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? I... This feels off. I told him. This feels... Off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid. Okay? Yes, I told him this dude feels off. You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Yeah, I still don't right, like what Conrad is bargain, doing now. You. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. We don't really know what happens, but... 
I didn't like his attitude there. And we had seen a little glimpse of someone with a gun and that speedboat. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. <clears throat> The turret, we can get in through there. Yeah, so I have been inside this boat. I did avoid that oh, one on my first play. Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. So there is a paper. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? And... I choose not to go after that paper uh, on my first playthrough. Then I ch changed my mind and went after it anyway but this time I think I will let it be so I will be right back so hang tight Yeah, sorry for that. Um, I had to go and get something to drink. Yeah, so... We we grabbed the paper and... Um, and... Um, we survived. So, nothing... It all went good. Um, the only thing... That makes me want to try not to take the paper is uh, she, uh, she she takes off her like her mask and everything to fit inside that small area to grab that paper and when she doing that we will see that fucking gas, that green uh, ghostly gas that was on that ship. So she will like breed that thing in. And we don't know what will happen to her or if something will happen to her, but that will happen. And on that paper, there was like nothing special. There was, yeah, it didn't say anything. At least 
what I could understand. So that's why I think I will skip uh, skip the paper and see what happens if I skip it. I know and I think most of the people will go for that paper and I did on my first playthrough. My first thought was leave it then I changed my mind because I was curious what it was and went after it but this time I will skip it. Okay. Let's continue. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Yeah. So we choose that. We went inside here. Then Lai was like, no, fuck it. I will go for it. <laughs> And it was actually pretty cool. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Um. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I'm not sure that maybe we have to do it, but it, it was a jump scare scene there. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. I, I was not prepared for it, so Check it, it got me. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is Yeah, so this is the this is the two secrets we found. The missing lifeboat and the shell. So think they were using it? Those are the only Let's two secrets I have found. Find. So even if I picked up the paper in the first uh, that was not a secret. Good God. So we cannot. We can see there is there's like a picture, but yeah, she doesn't want to take it though. Wow. So. What the hell? And that's the here? only. Little look at things. They knew they were goners. He's holding something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we can look at it again, but I don't. Can't really tell. What to do with it? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Yeah, so I will do the same thing here again. So we can open that door with that bang stick. Now it's also used. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. I think I wet my wetsuit. Okay. <sighs> okay. So that fucking thingy <laughs> that scared me right now. Uh, he showed up when we when you dived into that small. Uh, pipe or whatever when you try to get that paper then that fish showed up and that was the jump scare I was talking about so <laughs> I did not expect him to show up here pilot and co-pilot gotta be so that was cool plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish
So that stupid fish got me twice. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we didn't do. Oh, Julia! Oh my God! Just don't touch anything else, please. Something. I I'm not sure. So I there's like nothing in here. So wasting that bang stick, I was actually thinking if I should keep it. But I didn't really remember if there was something else in here. Yeah, because this thing happened. So, ex we gotta get out of here now. <gasps> oh God, Alex! So it's a gray reef shark. Not I, interested in us. I Go. actually think we got the paper there. Anyway. Oh. Okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? And this was funny because I could say no. But I'm gonna do with the. I'm gonna go with the same. I just. Same answers. Julia, I'm serious. Yes. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Yeah, because... If you go on the bearing and we go on the speedboat, Alex took the bang stick on the dive. Julia used the bang stick to open the door to the cockpit. Alex's knife was not used on the dive. So I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I I, I couldn't figure out this time as well when or when we should use the knife. So it, it is like a brain symbol on the knife. Yeah, okay. On all of them. <sighs> yeah, so on my first playthrough, I opened the, the cockpit. And uh, we, we swimmed inside, but then that fucking speedboat, yeah, the cutscene happened, so we didn't look around. Um, so on the proposal, Brad told Alex to follow his gut. So Alex followed his gut and proposed to Julia, and Julia said yes. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, and actually, I think we have to. So. Damn it! 
Yeah, okay. I did press, this right. on my first playthrough as well. I was wondering, what the fuck? So now I was almost, fuck it, I'm gone. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. But Just I'm gonna choose the same. Okay, now, go, go. Because I know they are safe. Hey, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell happened? I didn't it's know cool, that. Man. Everything's all right now. So, from now on, pretty much, there's there going to be little, a blind uh, playthrough. With the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, yeah, we should see that other boat. These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but thank you. So yeah, so we ended it here, and um, I'm gonna do it now as well. Uh, but yeah, from from now on, from now on, it's gonna be a blind playthrough, and uh, it's gonna be a uh, much more fun for you guys and for me to 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 react to this game with the live feeling with the jump scares and whatever so it's gonna be a blast to continue it was not super fun to redo it and not uh, straight oh, like oh, it's it's fine if I would maybe have done it tomorrow or so but I just wanted to continue right yeah like I cannot talk I'm so tired I just wanted to redo it because I wanted to upload something today uh, it's been a while since I have done any upload at all so I really really wanted to upload something today so that's why I had to redo everything uh, but yeah so I really, really hope uh, you liked those those two first episodes anyway, even if it uh, was not live and super fun maybe. And but I promise you guys, from part three and for the rest of the game, there will be a blind playthrough. So, hope to see you in part three and all the ep all the other episodes, of course, as well. <laughs> and if you want to see Until Dawn, which is a similar game, it's pretty much basically the same game but with a 
completely different story. It had a cool uh, horror slash slasher story to it. So please watch it if you want to. Anyway, uh, I'm off to bed. So take care. Good evening. Good night. And goodbye. See you.